It's early in the morning, and Kandahar City is already buzzing with life. Carrying everything from spices to tractors, street vendors and shop owners enliven the marketplace with the vibrant colors of their merchandise and food. New businesses are opening in Kandahar City every week, and families sell their produce and wares at local markets. Once the capital of Afghanistan and a thriving global trading center, Kandahar City was a place known for its rich culture, history, innovation, and steadfast people. For four decades, however, Kandahar City suffered conflict and oppression, nearly crushing its economy and vibrant spirit. The Soviet invasion of the 1970s and 80s, the following civil war, and the harsh Taliban rule of the 90s all wreaked havoc on the city. Then followed 10 years of drought, turning the city and surrounding areas into a barren wasteland. Today, Kandahar City residents are facing head-on the challenges of their recent history. Citizens are hopeful that they can rebuild the capital of Kandahar province and return it to its former glory. And even though progress might seem slow at times, the last few years have brought about visible change. Refugees are returning home, more children are going to school, and families have better access to medical services. And this, despite frequent and indiscriminate insurgent attacks against innocent Kandaharis. Since 2007, the overall security situation in Afghanistan has deteriorated significantly, particularly in Kandahar province. The violence we see on TV makes it difficult for us to imagine that this country will enjoy peace and stability one day. It is, however, what Afghans wish for, and Canada has placed large emphasis on working with the people of Afghanistan to improve security in Kandahar province. Strengthening the ability of the Afghan National Security Forces to sustain a more secure environment will not only promote law and order in Afghanistan, but also help set the conditions for economic opportunities and growth. To that end, Canada is also working with the Afghan National Army and police to help provide safety for Afghans living here. Rebuilding a city after years of devastation requires accountable, competent, and effective leadership. This leadership must be community-driven, because when leaders are local, they already understand the challenges ahead of them. They also know where to find the resources needed to overcome problems. To this end, Canada is supporting the Governance and Development Support Program. This program creates community development councils that involve women and refugees in important decision-making processes. An example would be deciding on where and how to improve the city's drinking water and sanitation services. These types of improvements are especially important to Kandahar City residents, who work to maintain a decent standard of living. To bolster the work of these local leaders, the Afghan national and provincial governments need to support them. This support requires security, money, training, and advice. Keeping that in mind, Canada funds the Afghanistan Subnational Governance Program. This program provides direct support to the provincial government and national ministries working in Kandahar province. It also offers training in management and computer literacy to civil servants working at the provincial and district levels. Providing access to quality health services is also an important aspect of rebuilding a city. While progress in this sector faces challenges, there are some indicators that things are moving ahead. According to UNICEF, national infant mortality has dropped close to 20% since 2001. Canadian contributions to projects such as the construction of a maternal waiting home in Kandahar City and a provincial maternal and child health care program have contributed in part to this drop. The Global Polio Eradication Initiative's vaccination program has also reached hundreds of thousands of children in the city. There have been similar successes in the education sector. Through Canada's Education Signature Project, 50 schools in Kandahar province are being built or renovated, of which more than half are located in Kandahar City. A teacher training college is also being built, largely attracting women teachers, and adults have the opportunity to enroll in literacy and accelerated learning classes. In addition, Canadian universities have announced several scholarship programs for Afghans, one example being the scholarship program offered by the University of Ottawa to Afghans wishing to enroll in the Masters of Communications program. On the economic front, Kandahar City is also experiencing a slight boost. The Dalla Dam Signature Project, also known as the Argandab Irrigation Rehabilitation Project, sees the rehabilitation of hundreds of kilometers of primary and secondary canals, many of them running through Kandahar City. This improvement will increase access to water for irrigation and improve agricultural opportunities for farming families living across the whole Argandab region. While agriculture is the primary source of livelihood for Afghans living in Kandahar province, the Government of Canada is also providing a number of microfinance loans to help bolster small businesses start up in the city. Several providers handle these loans to ensure financial activities are compliant with the Sharia, or Islamic law, that funds are provided to women's cooperatives, and that these loans support a diversity of small businesses in the city. Collectively, these initiatives are creating the foundation for a resilient economy. While definite progress is being made in Kandahar City, it's hard to ignore the challenges. 
security incidents repeatedly set back efforts, and the lack of human resources makes it difficult to fill important positions. However, Kandaharis remain hopeful through these difficult times. And together, with the international community and the government of Afghanistan, they are committed to overcoming these hurdles and moving towards a future they envision for themselves and their children. From the Provincial Reconstruction Team in Kandahar City, this is Farhan Ladani. Thank you.